Welcome to Chef Tab. I'm going to give you a quick demonstration of our Ticket Genie technology. What the Ticket Genie is, it's a simple method for formatting your tickets for a display on the screen um, and enhancing your tickets uh, view. Uh, as you can see by the ticket I've already put on the screen, it's pretty vanilla, uh, just plain text as it comes over from the point of sale. Um, nothing fancy about it. Um, in order to uh, launch the Ticket Genie, you go to the Settings menu and you just touch Launch Ticket Genie. All right. It'll come up with a window, gives you several options. One of them is Capture New Ticket, uh, the other one Modify Existing Ticket, and then Cancel and Reset. All right. right now, I'm going to do a Capture New Ticket, and then I'm going to, uh, it sits there waiting for me to send a, a message over to it. So I'm going to send another ticket from my point of sale. All right, and once that ticket arrives, it takes me directly into the Ticket Genie formatting window. Uh, as you can see, there's a bunch of buttons with question marks on it. This indicates that nothing has been defined as of yet. So the simplest way to do a Ticket Genie is to uh, select the last header line all right, and then define that header. So I touch on header. All right, and then if you and you'll notice all of the lines above it have been defined as a header. And then I scroll down to the uh, last uh, item line, or let's call it the first footer line. And I touch that, and I define that as a footer. All right, and you'll notice it auto fills everything above uh, is now a header, an item or a footer. Uh, the only other thing you really want to define is I'll define a modifier. So I touch one of the modifiers and, and that's usually sufficient but I'm going to go ahead in and uh, touch all of the modifiers and, and define them. All right, you'll notice on the bottom right hand portion of the screen there's a couple of buttons one of them called define fields and one of them called define tags. Uh, I can go into the define fields and what that does is you'll notice everything is checked right now and it lets me go in and individually remove fields from the display so that they don't show up. So this way I can selectively tell it uh, what displays on my tickets as far as the kitchen display is concerned. So I'm going to save those simple changes right there and I'm going to go into define tags and what tags are is they actually uh, give some definition to the data we're seeing. So right now, I'm just going to select line 10, which is the order number. And I'm going to tell it it's an order number. That's going to be used later on for things such as searching for order numbers. So I'm going to save that and exit out. All right, and now that I've come back to here, I'm going to save my Ticket Genie settings. And as you notice, we came back to the main screen and the ticket on the right is now formatted with the definitions I gave in Ticket Genie and the fields I told it to remove have been removed. Now you can always go back into the Ticket Genie all right, and modify your settings by hitting the modify and it'll come back up with the settings that you've had before. So I can then go down perhaps and tell it that I don't want any dollar figures so I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna say hide this footer all right, and I'm going to hide this footer. All right, and then I'm going to save my changes, and it's going to come back out to the screen. And now you'll notice the ticket is up there without any of those footers. Uh, that's it for the Ticket Genie for now. Uh, we'll post more training videos on our website when they become available.